Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Kind of got an overview of all of our accomplishments so far, except for the little bit over there. But, um, yeah, just I've been sitting here thinking about this. To take these guys out, I was thinking about popping it over here and give us lots of room to move in and out and plan it and do what we want, but I seem to remember, unless they're aggroed, they only go so far from their nest. So shooting one and running all the way out over here to the rest of them over here ready to shoot across the river or something like that, they may quit and turn around and go back before then. So I'm not sure that that's going to work. I think we're going to have to break it right here and uh, invite them home for, for dinner. Hmm. I think so. But anyway, before we get going, I'll read off the, the list for today and and uh, give you a sense of what's coming up We've got some base planning to do we've got to cl get close to the prisoners do we have anything made yet we still don't okay so that's probably next episode um, which means we need to make clothes okay um, expand the freezer that's just an ongoing part of the list to remind me to fill in the voids of this uh, uh, this stockpile zone as we chip this out um, Otherwise, need to set Sienna to not follow. Actually, both of them to not follow. We'll get into that. Uh, reset the weapons into the proper hands. Move the prisoner down. Move the chair from the old butcher table to the new butcher table. <laughs> all these little things that I see when I'm editing. I just kind of sit back and write all these notes as, as it's replaying to make sure that there isn't a, a glitch in the video I've got to try to edit out well you know I hate to just release it blind and find out that uh, there was actually a problem in there and I never noticed it so I go back and rewatch every episode before I send it out um, hunting and the bugs and then racks to the bedrooms and then set the orbital beacon so that is what's up today and before I release it what is everybody doing sangria is resting so she's leaving this area on your way out can you please bring in some berries amelia social hundred and building a good rapport it's just a matter of waiting for it to get done so hopefully she will be uh, joining us today rabbit is finishing up over here it's 2200 so it's time for them to go to bed so let's have them bring in what uh, what we can so rabbit you are sewing but you're going to be getting the right after whatever you're doing is done you're going to be getting the message to to uh, come in so go ahead and haul in that group there he'll work his way backwards until he hits 75 klaus you are attempting to recruit one more time it's nighttime how many potatoes are actually in this area they can hold 75 each so there's more than enough for two people to bring in this group. So you start over here hauling. You'll start picking them up till you get to there. Rabbit will start picking them up till you get to about here. And that should work out fine. Um, Sienna, we, we need to reset you. Shantigo has gone back to, to mining because he's run out of food to, to harvest. That is within his sphere of influence here. Although, I take that back. Interesting. Oh, oh, oh okay. We have limits on these, and he's made 21 out of 20 simple meals. He's not making any more fine meals because we don't have any meat. So the hunting does have to get back on the menu, and we've maxed out this. And I, I said that low intentionally. I had it at 10 at one point, but if we have a, a raid and an emergency and we can't get back to cooking for a while, the 10 might not be enough to, to keep us going. But I don't want to waste all of our rice and potatoes on a whole bunch of simple meals because we don't have any meat. So kind of keep that set low. Fine meals, let's make as many as we can. That could even pop up another, oh, 50 or so. Yeah, we'll go to 50. Just stockpile those things. I don't foresee a problem with cooling. Well, there could be. We do have solar flares and solar eclipses, and they eventually take out the solar panels, although the wind will help to offset that. I wonder if we can squeeze another wind in there, just out of curiosity. Not on the list today, but I just happened to think about that. Not, well, with a little bit of mining, we could. You'd have to be there and have to be mining out what's going to be part of our future plan here. So really, no. Okay. You could pop in right here, though, and extend into the the uh, the gardens. And this section right here would be in the garden area, and that would be fine. So it's a possibility of getting a backup wind. 
Anyway, um, roll call still. Tomislav, you need to be heading to bed soon, so on your way, how about taking down that tree? We'll get that done, finally. Um, who else is in this area? Handy is grabbing a fine meal. Chantigo, when you're done, hmm. Looks like we're pretty clean in there right now. <clears throat> Tell you what, haul this in. No place configured. So these can only handle 75 in a space. Oh, that's right. Okay. So we really don't need more than 75 here, do we? Fills and take you back down to 75. Interesting that it made that second run. I guess it makes it 50 at a time. So if we have 74, it's going to make another 50. There was something in here about pause when satisfied. Unpause at 70. So let's unpause at 25. 26. And so we'll make until we hit 75. We're not going to make any more until we get down to 26. Then we'll make another 50 and that'll fill in. Yeah, that's how that works. That's something that's new to me. That was not in Alpha 13. So it's well, the last couple of alphas have had that one, if I remember the uh, the change notes, the change log. Um, so that's everybody. Handy, Shantigo, you are going to make a quick run out and bring some of this food in on your way to bed. Okay. And we're good there, right? I think that's everyone. Yeah. Okay. Turn them on. Sienna. Actually, it is animals in general. Both animals are going to be set to to haul. So the the thought that Sangria left in, in comments last time was that we need to not have them follow their master around doing their normal daily work because they will then will then not be hauling. So that makes sense. We'll do that. They can free roam. They're with Sangria while they're training, and while they're training is training. So, Ham is set to rescue now. He's capable of it. Now he's working on his hauling. Sienna, let's see if I hit. Didn't work. Didn't. So, period and comma doesn't move between animals, only moves between peoples. So, training, you are 5 out of 7 on your hauling. So, once Sangria is done with the training, then we can reset her to handy. And Ham has not bonded with anyone yet. No. So, it hasn't formed a relationship. Okay, so that's what's up with the dogs there. While we're nice and quiet here, everyone except Sangria is on her way to bed. Everyone's dropped off some goods over here. Um, let's update this real quick. Right there, we'll add those four in. Okay, um, and I moved this over before we started. I had it stopping right here, but we're going to take one more out. So let's give a little longer run on the, on the airlock. Okay, so while this is happening, I'm going to fill you in a little bit of my logic for what we're going to build into here. Um, we we'll use the orders and the planning. And planning reminds me that we cannot build within 10 spaces of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 spaces of the edge of the map. So I can't build any further than here if I wanted to. So we are limited to that line. And we don't know what's in here. It's my assumption is that it's a nice empty mountain for us to carve out anything we want. There's a good chance it's full of this. <sighs> that was sure a surprise last time. I kind of had it in mind that, you know, what we got, we got. But, yeah, it is, you know, these just happen to have broke the surface and, and opened up into a, you know, a cave mouth right there with a river cutting through it. So this one over here hasn't broke the surface yet. We can go ahead and... Granite, 180 out of 900. Somebody's been tapping at this. Okay. We'll eliminate that for now. We'll, we'll work on this one. But, so we don't know what's going to be in here. But what I would like to put in here will look something like this. If we were to, and we don't have to stay within, we can build outside of two. It will be nice to build the outer walls with some kind of a, of a stone block. But if we were to cut in a place to put... Um, animals that have been hunted. So I don't want to say a meat locker. Meat locker is kind of after the, the butchering has been accomplished. So whatever, 
you know, whatever you would call meat prior to butchering locker. That's what that's going to be. The drop off the hunted deer. And if we get a, a major herd or if we get the courage to go after this herd before they leave the map. I thought I was seeing llama or alpacas in there, but I'm not. I do see silver up here, though. Or not silver, but steel. I'll leave it alone, though, so we're not walking all the way up there to get it unsupervised. Because I haven't made a, uh, a trip around looking for predators lately see if anything's moved into the map anyway um so a place to dump them off and we could have quite a few every one of these squares is a body so we could have there's 10 20 uh 40 60 80 there's 100 uh major hunting campaign fill that up so there's there's plenty we're future proof there there should be plenty of room and then hmm what i'm thinking of with this this is my reminder to to deal with this one thing i like to do we need to put in these coolers right here and vent it out which is one reason why we can't necessarily seal this off i thought about doing that and making a room there but this heat is going to build up in here and get really hot we're dumping heat as in order to make cool over here so we need a place to dump that heat but if the refrigerator and it doesn't always happen but when it is running in the winter if we get cold enough outside it's going to be even colder than our our, our cooler setting it's going to the cold's going to seep in but there will be times that we'll need heat inside the base that we could be tapping from the cooling out of here so i like to build some kind of a of a heat chase so the idea is to put in and and what do we have in blocks i see well, i'm already running out of out of uh, nighttime can't, I, don't know, I never have enough time to really do my 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 spiel here before uh, the timer runs out. But some kind of a stone block there and there to fill that in. Dig this out as a chase. Put in. What did I just hear? You guys up already? You pause. I got I got plans for you. I'm not ready for you yet. Um, tap into a place like oh there. Cooler goes there. Dumps into this chase. In the summertime. There'll be a door right here. It'll open up. The heat will dump outside. In the wintertime, we'll close that door. The heat will come down this chase. Eventually make its way into, oh, maybe the the dining room or whatever that's going to be, the meeting room, wherever, whatever this room is going to be that is normal living space. We'll have a pathway that leads from here into some kind of a real freezer. Um... Don't know. You guys, let me know what you what you know about. Uh, I think Sangria was saying something about there's a, an issue with double walls being insulative. Like I'm assuming. I don't have time to go watch someone else's video to figure out what that means. If you want to fill me in, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to be making double walls until I know otherwise. But um, some kind of a freezer in here, and it needs to be of a significant size. Probably, you know, this is not our final plan. This is just the example to let you know what I'm thinking. But something like so. So from outside, we can enter, drop off. The butcher table will be somewhere right out here and build walls out around it. Um, freezer, actually, would probably come down quite a ways more. The, I want to say more of the walk-in refrigerator. You know, in terms that Shantika would recognize, but in RimWorld, you probably use uh, freezing temperatures the whole time, especially if we get enough to fill this this beast in. This stuff is all going to rot at refrigerator temperature long before we'd ever use it. So we'd put everything into basically a deep freeze. So freezing and freezing, but process the meat, the butcher table. Unfortunately, walk it back through and drop it off is what they're going to do. I would say a pathway cuts through like so into it, as well as another pathway for a cooling a cooling unit, say right here, that dumps into our, our exhaust chase here. And then doors at all four points, we get to choose whether or not it's heat traveling through or people traveling through or, or just how that works. And then out of that into some kind of a kitchen, whatever the size is. Um, five whites probably good. Our stove is three by two, so we could center it on the wall there. Um, so three by two and a space chair is right there. This is probably the pathway to, to move into it. Uh, we could kill some of these for a a um, an airlock. So door door there, door there. 
sort of a thing. And then another stove potentially into there. So one, two, three, and another chase that moves back in. So, and then another stove over here is a potential of three stoves in this kitchen. And then two different pathways into here. So probably take all those out and that out. Something like that. And then, so meat or animals come in get butchered meat gets dropped into here vegetables get dropped into here here's a pathway from the garden straight in and kitchen staff will come grab the meat or vegetables from this area process it drop it into another another actual refrigerator i would say at that point so in here or here hmm Possibly something. It doesn't have to be big. Something just like that. Pathway to tap its cooler into this chase right here. Uh, pathway in from the kitchen. Actually, probably just to make it symmetrical, we would go ahead and do something like that. Each of these... What's a what's a stack of meals? Actually, the, the packaged survival meals come in in tens only. So are meals only stacked in tens? If so, we might have to have a little more space in that. Otherwise, a pathway into the kitchen from this room, whatever, you know, I assume this is going to be some kind of a main dining hall and or meeting room, what have you. Some other room will come up with its purpose over in here and it paths in like so. And then off into here into some kind of a double hallway that then travels through the base and moves into other rooms that's kind of the the idea what we would do is probably mine out just enough to get our our heat chase in our pathway in our cooler and pathway between so we'd probably only mine out you know this much at a time and probably this much at a time in other words i would leave i would leave the planning one you know planning cues there but I would just grab the mining and only set mining these areas and then basically take out the majority of this so we just have one a one bay kitchen a little refrigerator a little meat locker and a way to heat and get the heat out of there and then over time begin expanding the rest of this and filling the rest of it out but just enough to get by kind of like what we're doing here we just dug out a little area and got to work and now we're eventually expanding it to the full size so that's kind of long-term plans there's the kitchen then we'll drop into oh maybe a medical ward and then maybe all of our bedrooms and then some kind of common areas and then some kind of a prison area and production areas with storage for all of these so there's there's a lot we're going to be doing here but that's going to take a lot of episodes, obviously. We need to get working on that soon. But you, know, you heard from the, the list that we have going right now, there's a lot going on right at the moment. So it'll be a while before we get to it. Handy is getting to work. Yeah, that's fine. Grabbing the wood there and start laying it out. Where are you were? Oh, you're working on places that have already got the material set up. The floor underneath. Oh, we're not going to get a floor in there, are we? Can we? I didn't... That's new. Okay. And something else that's new. New to me. Because before, they could only reach in so far, this would not... You know, you'd never be able to get a floor under this. I had forgotten about that. But something else that's new, it just dawned on me before I was started to record. There's no longer a repair category. It used to be construct and repair. And you'd always choose them to repair first. So they go and just take care of that damaged area, then they get back to the normal construction. So repair is gone. Interesting. So I wonder if repair is part of construction and it already has a higher priority. Interesting to know. Why don't we take these guys out? They sleep at night just like we do. Which means we can get that first shot before they, they come at us. But we're going to be at the end of our day and, and ready to break if we if we get too tired. So that doesn't help us either. Um, hmm... Okay, who's still sleeping? Sangre went to bed last. She's still sleeping. And Shantigo, he's still asleep. Um, let's think about who needs to... Actually, I need to think about getting food in. Rabbit, you are sewing area. After you bring in more of this. Uh, bring in more potatoes. And Klaus probably got the command to head up to disturb Amelia. <laughs> um, needs... 
yeah, her rest, she, her her whole cycle's probably off because of uh, not having a, a normal daily cycle. So she's probably up through the night and sleeping during the day. But she needs some food. He's bringing her a good meal. He's going to give her a talking to and get her mood back up. And although she's going to be in bed, I wonder if she's actually going to get up for that. Or, and he's going to eat his own. Really? Consuming a simple meal. So they won't use this. They used to. Now, if it's marked for prisoner, they won't touch it. Interesting. Because I remember there were times when when I'd have a big jail set up and, and uh, you know, lots of places for the prisoners to eat. And, and my people, if they were in that area and needed to eat, they would just invade the jail and sit down and have a meal and then take off. <laughs> kind of comical. Okay, well, you're going to eat without... Uh, Cargo pods, that's our first. You're going to eat without a table. So I guess we should... Well, this is all going away anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. Cargo pods. Yeah, I was wondering when we're going to get some. We haven't had that in a long time uh, in this in this whole series. Uh, you have detected a cluster of cargo, pod, cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. Jump to, and it's still coming down. Crash. Boom. Well, thank you, RimWorld. Interesting. That could be a long way away, and by the time we get to it, all these animals would have eaten it, but, uh, wow. So, how do you explain that? Um, hmm, a ship that broke up up there, a module with meals in it came crashing in, or who knows how to, how to really explain that. We've got 20 meals here, and I want them brought in. That's not too far away. And predators, nothing vicious out here. The fox is a is a predator, but uh, not something that's going to take us down unless it's uh, crazed or something. We haven't had a chance to really do this during the day, and raccoons are carnivores as well. Ask a, ask any crayfish or crawdad. Um, rabbit that has been marked to hunt from a long time ago has made his way all the way up here. I am not seeing any grizzlies, any panthers, any cougars. This map would be cougars. Uh, wolves. What else would be in a forest map? Hmm. No, we're still predator-free for the most part. Okay. Um, over there. Alright, so in that case, I need Handy. You've got a good run speed. Where are you right now? You are there and you're hauling steel. Why don't you head up and do that again. Haul that group of meals and... Klaus, you're on your way to clean blood. Okay, you're hired. Why don't you come up and grab the other one, which is this one. Okay, so that's going on. Otherwise, Rabbit's doing that. Sangria, you are taking kibble. And training Sienna, all right. And Chantigo's grabbing a meal. Tomislav's already researching. Let's see. So we've got meals. We've got meals. All right. I'm going to manually. Uh, what am I doing here? Architect, mine. Let's take. Stop. Let's do that again. Let's take you two out and figure out how to deal with these guys. Shantigo, I'm going to have you manually uh, mine that one and no path. Okay. We'll have to do. Have to be here to to set the next one. You're a good miner. Now, once I release this, I don't think they're going to go flooding out until they're aggravated. This one, not reproducing, so it's dormant. Okay. And we do need to get the second battery bank in. Zoom in here. Yeah, you are a fast one, and you're just going to stay there and mine. Interesting. It's interesting how, it, how it, it, it deals with proximity now, more so than what's simply the next number one. Because next number one is... No, I take it back. Although we have been taking simple meals. So, no, we still have 21. 10, 9, and 2. Because they'll always grab the, uh, the the better quality meals first before they're going to grab a simple meal. Mm hmm. Tomislav, can you do me a favor and haul that in before it gets worse? No one is in this area to deal with that. Um, so, Shantigo, take out this one then. We'll cancel that one until we really decide what's going to happen there. I'll take this one out. Let's see if these guys suddenly react to it. 
And you're through. Well, six hits. And they haven't reacted like they know what's going on. Okay. You are cooking a simple meal because somebody ate one. So we could do that same order here. Bills. I could do it on both of them. Pause until we get back down to... It's unpause at 15. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't set. Okay, that's the recommendation. All right, that makes sense. So you are now on pause at 15, and you are now 45. We're calling for 50. Let's take you down to 40. Actually, down to 30. Because we're going to need Shantigo to do a lot of mining. So give me a burst of meals, and then go away for a while. This is outside. Not refrigerated, but spoils in two quandrums. Two quarter years. So it's going to be a long time before that actually goes bad. No problem there. All right. So in that case, Shantigo, it's going to be a while before we be using that freezer. Why don't you go ahead and work on this group right here. We can get this airlock built. All right. So with that going, we are now available to get into here. My plan is to send Handy in. Take a shot and run. She can run at 4.8 something right uh handy you're right there character is that what i want no you're i want i information move speed is really low that happens when they're hungry needs you're hungry and you are hauling fine meal are you going to stop and eat one of those fine meals where are you right now there you are okay good come on in here and and uh grab a meal and, and get uh get revved up and then I want you to pick up a revolver so eat your meal Shantigo when you're done let's see if you naturally head over and work on this one and you're yep great all right when Handy's done <clears throat> let's get her set up with a revolver and you are right now with a charge rifle so Handy why don't you instead go to pick this one up who gets a sniper rifle? <clears throat> Klaus and Rabbit. Do we keep them at a long distance? Distance is still dangerous. We could set them right here, though. Shooting into here. Otherwise, the rest of them maybe over here. That way we're not crossing paths with our bullets. Maybe right here. And a group there and a group there. Depending on which way they run. So we're only going to lose a couple of them. <laughs> Maybe we can run run around this thing. I know I was going to check. She is normally at a 4.98. Wow. Okay, great. So she's definitely our fastest. What's the fastest here? Seems like one of these things ran pretty quick. You're 4.5. That is the Mega Spider. You're the big one. The little guy's here. The Mega Scarab's 4.7. She can still outrun them. These guys were a 3, right? No, 4.3. Okay, they're all quite quick, but she can outrun them. She can run in here. If they don't aggro immediately, she can take a shot. Run back into here. Everybody else will be in position. That's the plan. All right, so let's... Sangria. I don't know if I've got enough guns for everyone. She had the, the least shooting skill, so we'll give her the other revolver, which is on Rabbit right now. So, Rabbit, I need you instead. You're probably out over in this area already, aren't you? Uh, sewing something. You're not obvious, are you? Rabbit, you are crossing the river. Ah, okay. Why don't you head back over here and grab this this sniper. <clears throat> and then, Tomislav, you've already got your charge rifle. Good. And Klaus, I need you to grab the sniper. Let's see, who are we going to give these guys to, though? Hmm... That's interesting. So we've got two charge, two revolvers, two snipers, and two assaults. We do have enough. Okay. Then maybe we'll skip the uh, <clears throat> the sniper. Although it does so much damage when they hit. Hmm. I think about that. Rabbit, you are off to do that. Handy, you're off to do that. Okay. Sangria. Well... Okay, consuming a fine meal. Let you guys do your thing. <clears throat> so, Shantigo and Tomislav are already armed for this. 
It's the others that I kind of want to swap out, but I'm thinking about leaving you with that. So who has the other assault rifle right now then? Um, Handy dropped off a sniper. You're picking up a sniper. You've got, who's got the other assault? That's Sangria right now. She does. Ah, okay. That's the mystery. Okay. So in that case, we'll just go that route then. So kind of waiting for her. He's finishing this up while we're waiting. Zone and stockpile. Raid. Best laid plans, huh? <laughs> I wonder if it was going to do that to me this time. Stockpile. Select that one this time and go up and go down. Okay. A raid. And this is sitting open into the base. And unknown whether or not these guys will just go and do anything on their own. Hmm. In that case, Handy, I want you to quickly build me a door right there. And you are handy. You have grabbed your revolver. No. Okay. You're actually a shooter shooter of six. I guess I do want an assault rifle on you. But handy, you... I need you to immediately take care of this. Clean rock. Cannot work on door. Need material wood. Okay. Strike out again. Okay then. What is our raid? A group of pirates from the Sabre Donkeys. That's not the same one as the other. Uh, have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Watch out. They appear to be using... Be unusually clever with their tactics. Ooh. Okay. So, jump to location. You guys are actually quite serious. We have four of them this time. Yeah. You have got a revolver. A knife. A club. A knife. We've got... Vort character Vort is carrying a steel shiv which is better than a bone or or uh, well, what else can you make it out of I guess stone shiv um, I want I want character don't really know how to use it yet good at medicine and quite intelligent and not too weird of traits. Okay. We've got Strange, who's a pyromaniac and has bloodlust. Doesn't sound good. You have got a club and you know how to use it. We need to snipe that one. Okay. Uh, we've got Henderson, the defector. <laughs> a fast walker is going to get there before all the rest with, I believe, uh, his steel knife okay has a pair of pants awful ones though hmm um okay kind of knows how to use it too all right then we have law law the ludite of the saber donkeys is a brawler so has a gun okay can shoot. Not happy about it, though. Brawlers don't like having ranged weapons. Um, yeah. Okay. That's who's coming at us. So this is actually going to be the episode of a raid. So much from my list. Got a little bit of that list done, but they're going to take a little bit of time to get here. But who's out here right now? Rabbit is out here, and he's got a sniper rifle. And he's got a run speed of 4.58. We've got a running speed on our jogger, a oh, fast walker, right here. 4.43, so it was here, Henderson. Uh, 4.81. So, and you're the one that knew how to use it too, right? No, well, kind of. This is the one that we need to take down soon, but this one's going to get there first. So I need Rabbit in position to snipe that one out. And Klaus, you're a good shot too. I think we better get... The snipe rifle on you. You are where right now? Uh, Klaus, you're down in there cleaning dirt. I need you to make a beeline for... Hmm, it's, it's, it's a tough choice there. The sniper rifle will give us more range, but it's only good for one shot. Then they're into this range here, and you get three shots at them. I think I'm going to leave you with the, the assault rifle. Okay, how fast can you get to... Well, we'll start with here. 
And unfortunately, there's a tree right there we haven't taken down. Rabbit, you are ready to go. Draft you and get you. Can I get you to there? I can. Before they get here. It's going to be just getting there. Okay, we'll, we'll watch the distances. There's, you know, while we're, while we're drafted, it gives you a sense in the distance. So if he gets to here, he can shoot up to here. That's about the time it'll take them to get there, too. So we'll see how that works. We've got to get him running away, though. Hopefully by the time that Klaus gets into position and can back him up, Rabbit's going to head to probably there next. So, yeah, we'll see how all that works. But we're not releasing anything until everybody is ready to go. Sangria does have this one. She doesn't have the skill to use it as much as Handy does. So why don't you, um, gear, drop that. Handy, grab that. And equip. What am I looking at? Equip. And you'll drop off the revolver. Sangria will grab that and equip. Okay. Handy, I need you out here too. You're going to back up Klaus. So you just head to this place. And eventually we'll, we'll run back. But we'll we'll uh, preemptively take out what we can. Tomislav and Shantigo. Can I do that? I can. Good. Hold down the shift button and you grab them both. They already both have charge rifles. Let's get you into this area for now we'll figure out what to do with you then and sangra you're next you're gonna have the least range i'm thinking that you're going to stay down in this area maybe right here well need cover we should have built some sandbags over here note to self well let's do it right now put sandbags in there production uh, security sandbags something like there and there um, that's enough. Two positions, then we fall back, get around, run through the door that isn't in yet, but otherwise work our way through the trees and get through this door. <laughs> then we can kind of pop out of doors and, and, and shoot them, you know, whack-a-mole style. Okay, that's everyone. Rabbit and Klaus, Tomislav and Shantiko, Sangria and handy yeah that's everybody so you guys move into position first is rabbit let's see how this works your range is moving in like so that should work fine now i want to intentionally ask you to target somebody you guys are heading down into here aren't you oh you're being crafty you are hmm note to self <laughs> we need to shut this down uh, and that is the only access point. Yeah. Okay. We're learning. Orders. Uh, structure. Door. There. Wall. There. We'll back up one there. So, let's see what they're actually doing. It said that they're going to be clever. What does that mean? Attacking battery. Attacking wooden table. One of the outdoor tables. Attacking a torch lamp. And attacking a wooden dining chair. Okay. There will be others that will come in with grenades. And their intent is to take down the walls that separate us. So, you know, they're heading in to blast a hole in this wall so they can get into this bedroom and, and hit us from the inside. So there will be clever tactics like that coming. But these guys don't really have the ability to do that. So, I don't know that they're truly going this way. The game is tracking them here. They may turn and come back up. But I've got to realize that is a possibility. Shantiko and... Let's do that again. And Tomislav, you guys hold back. You... We don't know which direction they're going. You may be our, our uh, B team down there. All right, Rabbit, your first line of sight then is going to be probably more down into here. Interesting. Move into here instead. Now, the only projectile is the revolver, and it's got a smaller range. That's true. The only thing I have to worry about with Rabbit is to be able to outrun that one that could outrun him. Hmm. All right, I'll leave you there, but I will keep this up. Boy, you guys are going to skirt this, aren't you? All right, I got to run you in here. Um, head in like so. They're all heading down except for this one. Okay, in that case... Handy's there, Klaus is there. I need both of you guys. <clears throat> Head into... 
You're coming in through here. Hmm. Handy, you continue the where you where you're going. You might be able to get there in time to get up a shot. Klaus, you don't have a, quite the run speed. You are heading to where? That's just it. From over here, we don't have a line of sight till they turn the corner. From over here, we do, but we don't have anywhere to run to except the jail. Klaus, head to here for now. We'll figure that out. So, Sangria, you are going to... You are doing what? Taming Alpaca. Let's draft you. You are actually going to sit right there with these guys. Now, if they're going to come through here, then actually I need you guys where? Um, Tomislav, on this side, right there. And Shantiko, on this side, right there. I'll give you immediate line of fire into there. Then we'll take off from that point. Okay, so now what do we have going on? Rabbit is getting into position. His range is there now. So right there, he's aiming. Harrison, we needed to take out first because of the run speed, right? Anderson? Well, 4.58. Really? Wait a minute. Where's the fast runner? Uh, no. No. Are you? What am I... What, what did I see? Pyromaniac. Brawler. Fast walker. Okay, I was right. I was looking for the wrong word. Okay. I thought, boy, that was, uh, that was quite random. Anyway, you, I want you. You are targeting already. Okay. Perfect. Get a shot off. Took him down. Wow. <laughs> Henderson is gone. Okay, well. And this is what? Social. Had a nice chat with. Seen death? I'm, I was hoping to get a sense of what's going on there. Witnessed an ally's death. Negative five. Okay. So, Law's mood just dropped significantly. This one, what is the green surrounding it? Um, need. Witnessed death, death with bloodlust. Oh, this is, okay, strange. Is, no, Law. Strange word. Oh, you're over here. Right there. Strange. Character. Bloodlust. Gets a rush from hurting people and never minds the sight of blood nor death. Is twice as likely to start a social fight. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that one. <laughs> um, anyway, so Rabbit is in his cooldown period. Okay, so he can't do anything now until this happens. Now, what do we have here? You are heading for a wooden dining chair, probably, I'm assuming, this one. So you're going to cross our path. Handy is in this position. She's got the assault rifle. You are a runner of 3.16. Handy, head over to here. And you'll get a shot off on that one. These guys are still heading into here. Rabbit's going to get one more shot. Maybe he can follow behind them. The fast runner is gone. And so we needed to get rid of the club. You're the one that had a club and knew what to do with it. So you are next. So next thing we want to do is wait for Rabbit to get done with this cooldown period. And you guys are changing course and you're ready to attack. And you've already shot. No, that's your... That's right there. That's your... This thing. Rabbit head back into here. And hopefully these trees are going to give you cover. Yeah. Well, that was close. You've got to... I've got to do this play-by-play -play or I lose characters. And I don't want to lose characters. So one second, half a second, can make all the difference in the world. All right. You are still attacking a torch lamp. So you think you're heading through here and going after probably that. Okay. You have got a cooldown period, but it's really tiny. So you are now heading to... Watching for targets. You don't know what you're doing. Rabbit is heading there and has a bead on her. Her? Her. Your cooldown is right there. Can we see both? We can. Are you going to start running before that happens? You've got to be right at the very edge. No, you've got a little bit of distance there. All right. And we do have... Oh, we have... Vort heading in, but missed. Okay, Vort is attacking a horseshoe pin 
but in reality you're going to get to here and recalculate. Rabbit, I need you to fall back to here. And Handy, actually head out so you got a, a, a better line of sight right there. You're going to start shooting Rabbit. Head out to here. <laughs> Rabbit's got to cool down before he can leave. Okay. So into here, Strange is moving in, and Shantigo, actually, let's drop you down into here. And Tomislav, let's drop you... It's a little iffy, but let's put you there. Actually, there. That way, there's no way you guys can cross paths. And who else is down here? Sangria might not get into this, but let's get you to here as well as a fall black. Fall back as these guys are running away, you can get off a shot. And who am I missing? Klaus was waiting for them to come up through here. That's right. Um, you've got a, you've got this guy. Probably, let's just get you running in this direction. They're going to break with the next one that goes down, and they're going to run. And I want you to to try to overrun them. So get you into there. What's happening here? That was close. You got off your shot. He got out of there. You're getting into there. You are heading now officially to attack power switch. You're heading south. Okay, handy. Get ready to shoot again, and you're out of sight. You are going to be in his line of sight soon. Let's take you to there. Rabbit, what to do with you? Let's go high. Okay, watch this for a second. Oh, headshot. Not good if we're going to keep Vort. Um, Vort, health. Was it a brain thing? That's... Hit your nose. Gunshot took the nose off, I'm guessing. That's not good. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Handy is going to be in range if Law comes in. Rabbit is in range. Handy, head off to the side out of Rabbit's line of sight, which is aiming in toward Law, who is heading up top. Okay. So, these guys are running in. This is our next... Kind of our next... You're going to get there about the same time that you're going to be in range. This is going to be interesting. Let's see who handy is next. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Missed. All these trees are cover. That was interesting. Just got a bunch of, uh, uh, like, CB radio feedback over my speakers from somebody who drove by. He wasn't saying nice things, so if that all went silent for a moment, you'll know, uh, you'll know why. I had to edit that out. Um... At least I heard on my speakers. I don't know if Fraps actually recorded it. You guys are next. What you gonna do right now? Shantigo, boom. You guys are locked in. What's happening up here? You are ready to turn the corner, and you're aiming. Yep, yeah, Handy, I need you out of there. Can you still get out of there in time? You have no cover. Move, 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 move. Boy, those tiny little movements. Unfortunately, these guys have already shot, so I didn't get to see it. And you are immediately attacking Shantigo. So you're going around the corner. Yeah, let's watch this. Boom, boom, boom. Shantigo got a shot in. And up here, you are watching for targets. Okay, I need to get you guys in a better place. Um, Rabbit, you're going there. Handy. Actually, Handy, you're going... Well, okay, you go there. Okay, so you guys take care of Klaus. You made it into this area. You head into here already. And you'll be taking a shot while they're running into place. Great. Over here, Sangria, we have a. We got hit in the. Which one? Okay, what did you get? You got the left pinky shot by, by a, a charge rifle from Shantigo. Otherwise, you've got asthma, so you're. That's why. Let's see, you're running speed. Asthma. Um. Needs tending now, so you need a, uh, uh, a medical treatment. Um, efficiency 90%. I want to say your running speed is slow because of the asthma, most likely. Okay, so Sangria, your range. Actually, you're in range right there. Okay, so right where you're at, you'll be... No, you're running away. You are merely attacking Tomislav, you changed your mind. Sangria, move into here. Okay, so that's one, three, one, two, three over there, and one, two, three over here. We'll see what happens at this point. You took off that, took the shot at Rabbit, and you're heading down here. Ah, okay. Handy, there. Rabbit, there. Klaus, there. 
Let's see what we can do here. Okay. So RimWorld is quite the uh, game of tactic. And that boom was Sangria, right? And I think that boom was Sangria. That's that's a, a sound of a 44 Magnum. Um, health. Revolver to the heart. <laughs> Sangria took him down. Well, strange. You were you were too strange for us anyway, weren't you? Character. Yeah, you were too strange for us. So good job, Sangria. That was just an enemy. That wasn't a a potential future friend. Let's put it that way. Vort. Character. Psychopath and prosthophobe. Psychopath is not the greatest thing, but has no enmity. Suffering of others doesn't bother her at all. She doesn't mind if others are butchered. So it's kind of like bloodlust in a way. So she also feels no mood boost from socializing. So you can't make her happier by, by talking to her. But uh, she doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, in, in prison, or sold into slavery. Unless it affects her. Hmm. Probably not the best qualities to mix into our colony, but... Um, We'll see. There may be some among you that uh, would say, hey, I'll, I'll do that one. We'll see. Um, there was a noise, though. You're moving. Are you fleeing? I thought there was... I just kind of my memory, this little... The noise that comes up when they when they flee, but there'd be a message there, and maybe I missed that message while I was talking. But at this point, it looks like they're still coming at us. So, law has changed mind again. You are moving. Maybe that message did, did come up. Don't know. Are you moving to flee? Kind of looks that way. Yeah, you're not moving to attack. So, Rabbit, go ahead and do your thing while you get a shot off. Handy, you're going there. Klaus, you're going there. Oops. Darn it. Well, I guess we're, we're all going there. Rabbit, uh, the disturbed rabbit's uh, um, uh, aiming time. All right, over here. Down. Vort is about to meet uh, all their bullets. I think Vort is fleeing the map this way. And he's not thinking straight right now. He, she, female. She is just in a panic, ready to move. I wish it said fleeing instead of moving, so it was obvious what was going on. Um, let's see if we can get some shots off there. What's happening over here? We should all be shooting at this point. And yeah, charge rifles and sangria has shot already. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, what's happening over here? Who took whom down? Um, down, dead. There's an X-Buy. Now this one... So we're not going to get anybody out of this, are we? We're getting awfully close, though. Though I don't know that Vort will actually attack. That's right, Vort is not red anymore. So that means not in attack mode, but in fleeing mode, I'm pretty sure. Wow, you're taking quite a bit. You... Needs, character. You're the one I don't really care for, but you're the one we're probably going to get, aren't you? And down and wounded. Okay. Wow. Health. How bad is it? Gunshot to the nose, to the torso. Oh, gunshot. Assault rifle to the nose. Charge rifle to the torso. Nose. That was handy, right? And then... <clears throat> Revolver to the torso, charge rifle to the right shoulder, right arm, left lung, shatter to the rib, has a peg leg, that's why slow. Um, revolver to the leg, two charge rifles to the, to the leg, bite scar, so old wound, and then a charge rifle to the right index finger, very specific. Will die in 8.8 .8 hours at a 267% bleed rate. Hmm... Okay, well, Tomislav, I guess, uh, who's the fastest runner here? Actually, you're the one on the correct side of the river, so you get the duty to capture Vort. And these are marked, so hopefully that is the closest one. This one we could officially shut down, but I think I'm going to keep you guys separate. We have two hospital beds over here. I think you'll be taken to that one. All right. Otherwise, we have a body gear wearing 13% left elephant skin pants. And there is now this 
major debuff of wearing a dead person's clothes and wearing clothes that are worn out below 50%. So these pants are worthless to us for the most part. We'll be in worse shape than the negative six for uh, unwelcome nudity, but need to be hauled off to a grave. We could sell that right there, but in that condition, although elephant skin is pretty rare, does it actually give me a value in this particular condition? 14 cents, that's what I thought. We'll just bury you with your clothes on. We need to dig some graves. And we don't really need those graves to be out here, do we? I guess we could maybe do up in there. We could do something like that. Miscellaneous, let's just stick a few in right now. So, yeah, something like that and that. If we avoid the trees, then we won't have to worry about uh, chopping them to get these dug. So we'll do those. And turn you around. Where's the headstone? I think it's there. Can I see it if I zoom in? Yeah, right there. Like that. Okay. There's some graves to dig. Our first attack that ended in, in serious casualty. Thomas Hobbs going to grab or put uh, Vort into a hospital prisoner bed. Let's not strip yet, though. Gear... Cloth jacket, 21%. This stuff's all in really bad shape. Temperature, com comfortable temperature range. Interesting. So we will unforbid that. And Sangria, actually, that's right, undraft. Sangria, you can bring this in. Uh, prioritize. And Tomislav, undraft, so that you go to uh, immediately take care of as soon as that's done. And capture Vort. Before I do that, um, health. No, at this point I cannot choose what we're going to use. Though I would say we're only going to use the uh, the herbal medicine. We're probably not keeping for it. Those, those qualities are a bit rough. Out over here, what do we have? We've got you guys undraft. And you think you're going to do all these wonderful things. But instead, um, Ludite or Law, gear, wearing really bad pants, not worth anything. You can just uh, bury. So we need to unforbid, actually. I didn't do that to the other one. Let's zoom out get the whole map here and all of you guys no I didn't do it double click there we go unforbid okay and so this one unforbid rabbit bring that in um, prioritize hauling we had somebody else down where two there one there. Where's the other body? Right there. Okay. So we've got a shoddy, or a, yeah, shoddy quality steel knife. We will haul that one in as well. So let's grab Handy. You can run that one in. And the bodies we'll take care of eventually. You know, next round. Probably next episode. I'm looking at my clock. We're, we're close to that hour mark again, aren't we? Hmm. Okay. So with that... Klaus doesn't have anything to do relaxing socially. Klaus, can you go dig me a grave? We get at least one going right there. And I guess that's it. Shantigo, no, you don't have anything to do. Okay, so un you're undrafted. Yeah, you are digging granite. You are actually hauling this in. So unforbid and bring this in. Okay. So that's everybody doing something. I think I'm going to call it done right here. We'll start up next time taking care of the uh, of the one prisoner. And I guess next time we'll play with the bugs. Yep. So this was Noble Rambler with an episode that kind of went different than I planned. And I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.